Taking action and evaluating your progress. Sometimes the hardest part of having a goal is getting started. When we don't know where to begin, it can be difficult to evaluate where we are going to end up. Fortunately, if you have followed steps one through six, you should be doing pretty well when it comes to understanding what your end goal is, even if you're not quite sure how to begin yet. In step seven, you're going to learn all that you need to know about how to take action and move toward achieving your goals. Taking action is a strong phrase. There is a lot that can be said for priming the mind and providing yourself with the mental space that you need in order to begin to work on a goal and achieve it. Taking action provides the mind with a visual of somebody who is willing to stand up for what they believe in and who doesn't compromise. To take action, you're going to have to evaluate each of the little puzzle pieces that you broke your goal down into and determine which one is the most important to begin with. Once you have a good idea of where you should begin. Look at that small chunk of goals that will help you to fill in a piece of the puzzle and start from the beginning. Do you need to call around for information? Do you need to do research? Do you need to talk to someone who is in the industry that you're planning to go into, so that you can get more insight and information about how to succeed? Or are there resources that you have to accumulate? Do you have the money for those resources? Can you find a way to make the money for those resources, or can you take out a loan to gather the supplies that you need to begin taking action? All of these may seem like small steps, but it is the small steps that eventually make your goal a reality. So don't overlook or belittle any of these questions or the time that you invest into these goals. All of them are great ways to begin taking action and determining the best route to follow if you are going to succeed at your goal. Sometimes, most times actually, the hardest part of completing a task is getting started. You just have to pick a starting point and go from there. Make sure that you choose one that is logical and fits in with your goals and means when it comes to your end game. If you do this, you will find that it is easier to take the next step and then the next until you are virtually running toward the end of your goal. Most goals take a lot of time, and patience and long-term planning is very difficult for the human mind, especially when it comes to long-term goals like this. That's why it's so important to make sure that you are taking the time to evaluate your progress. If you don't, It can become very demotivating when you are discouraged about the lack of progress that you are making. That doesn't mean that you are actually not making progress. That only means that you are having a hard time tracking the progress that you have made from your starting point. However, there are ways to combat this. One of the best ways to stay motivated is to keep a record of the goals that you have set and broken down and accomplished. Track your progress. There are many different ways that you can do this, and many people find that journaling is one of the most useful ways when it comes to achieving their goals. So, how do you journal about your goals? To begin with, you should start writing down your goals in detail before you ever begin. This will help you to have a starting point and a physical record of your mind's perception of success. You can always refer to this and modify it as needed. Once you have that figured out, you should begin to break the goal down into those small pieces so that you understand just what you are taking on. You don't necessarily have to do this in a journal, but it is helpful to have that record there. Journaling daily is a great way of taking accountability for your goals and making the time to reflect on them. Not only that, but it provides you with physical evidence of how far you have come and how far you have left to go. You can write down things that you hope to achieve by the end of the week or the day or the month, and keep track of all the different ways that you have made progress. A journal. Is also a great reference point to look at when you are feeling discouraged and that end game seems elusive. When you are able to reference all of the different ways that you have been successful in the past and all of the different ways that you can continue to work toward being successful in the future, it is much harder to talk yourself into feeling as if you are working toward nothing. In your journal, you can also record things that help you to stay motivated. For example, quotes by people who are successful in their own field or who say things that inspire you can be recorded in your journal. And read over on those occasions when you're starting to feel discouraged about achieving your goals. Journaling is a great tool and can help you to stay on track and consider setbacks as minor bumps in the road. When you look back on your progress and the challenges that you faced, you will be able to clearly see that there is a way around those challenges and realize that you were able to face them head on and still make progress. No matter how discouraged you might be at the time. It can help you to keep your perspective if you write a journal and contribute to it on a regular basis. With your journal, you can evaluate your progress and realize that you are actually taking steps that need to be taken in order to achieve your goals and succeed. It can be discouraging at times, but with a solid testament to your progress, 
you will be able to reference something that can help you to stay motivated and continue taking steps beyond the initial first step until you are well on your way to achieving your dreams. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.